The Indians of Pawnee City had a historic season a year ago and are hoping to translate that into 2022. Head coach Scott Brumbaugh talked about his group ahead of the season. You know, we returned three older kids uh, that started for us and did well. We got the young kids, the juniors sliding in. There's quite a few of them. Uh, you know, they got a lot of playing time last year since we did well, and we're excited to see them. So, you know, it'll be a test for us with, what, out of six kids, I guess we'll have four new starters on the field. The Indians are one of the biggest surprises in six-man football last year. Brumball wants that to be both a foundation and a stepping stone for his group going into this year. We broke an 0-22 losing streak, I think. Um, we picked up a win. We got a little momentum. We got three wins, got a playoff berth. Uh, the kids built on that last year, and, you know, and that's what we talked this year. We want to build on it yet again. We want the berth, and then instead of just one win, we're hoping, you know, we can make this into something special and, and see what happens. Hunter Johnson is a senior wide receiver and D lineman. He hopes to make an impact on both sides of the ball and he knows what it takes to be successful at the six man level. Your defense and offense needs to be spot on. If you have just a little bit of a gap, they can take that and really open that field up and get that field spread out. Cause if, they, if that field spreads out, then it's just running and trying to catch back up. Because of that, preseason practices for Pawnee City have been conditioning intensive. This year, you know, we're looking at maybe eight kids deep right now, and after that, we're out of older classmen, and, and you know, we may have to put a freshman on that field. So we got to get these kids in shape to where hopefully we don't have to put a freshman out there and, and put them in a bad way to where, you know, they're just not as experienced right now, and we need to give them time to learn what's going on. Running back Andy Maloli is coming off a monster 2021 where he ran for nearly 1,400 yards. This offseason, he's added about 30 pounds and has a few games circled on his schedule. We want that 8-0, but we really want to beat Parkview this year and um, see what Frank Franklin gives us. Johnson wants overall team success this season, but also has some personal accolades he's pursuing, along with the growth of his own game. Goals for me is just to get better and maybe even be like recognized as one of the upper people in the state or even in like our district. The Indians begin their season on Thursday, September 1st when they welcome Franklin. Reporting from Pawnee City for NCN Sports Now, I'm Jake Bartecki.